Hi, let's talk about Heise's licensing scheme. If you're a hobbyist or you're making plugins just for your own private use, then you don't really need to worry about licensing. It only becomes important when you're distributing your plugins to other people. And even if you're not planning to do this now, it's a good idea to be aware of how licensing works and you might need it in the future. Heise is released under what's called a dual license. This means that we, as developers, have a choice of two licenses to use when we make software with Heise. The first license we can use is the GNU General Public License, or GPL for short. This is an open source license, and it's the same license Heise itself uses. Open source means that the end user will have access to your project source code, they'll have permission to modify the project, and they're allowed to redistribute it to other people. If you want to make open source plugins, then you should release them under the GPL. If on the other hand you want to keep your source code private, or you don't want to allow other people to modify your project or be able to redistribute it, you're going to need a proprietary license. In fact, you're going to need two separate licenses, so let me explain this. Hise is built with a framework called Juice, which uses the same dual license approach as Hise. So for closed source projects, you need a Hise license and a Juice license. There are tiered pricing plans for both, with the lowest juice license tier being free of charge at the time I'm recording this video. I'll leave links alongside this video to the licensing pages so you can check the current prices. Now you might have noticed I've been talking about distributing, but I haven't mentioned selling. And that's quite deliberate, because the license you choose has nothing at all to do with the price you charge. It's entirely about how much freedom you give your users. For example, all the plugins I sell on my website use the open source GPL license. So just because it's open source doesn't mean it can't be commercial. On the flip side, if you want to keep your code private, even if you're giving away the plugin for free, you'll need to buy both a Highs and a Juice proprietary license. So when you're considering licensing for your projects, don't think about price because it makes no difference to the license. Just remember, if your project is open source, use the GPL. If your project is closed source, use the proprietary license. Another aspect to consider if you're making open source sample libraries is licensing for the audio files, the samples themselves. Because samples aren't embedded in the plugin, they're distributed as separate files. And that means from a licensing point of view, they're not part of the software and the software license doesn't apply to them. For the audio files in my own projects, I use a Creative Commons license but this won't be suitable for everyone, and you'll need to do some research to find the best fit for your project. Okay, I think that's enough about licensing. Head over to the next video where we're going to install highs, and we're going to get into the course properly.